वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू टू स्टडी स्टीम जनरेटर ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ लैंके सायर बॉयलर सो दिस वन इज द स्केच ऑफ द लैंके सायर बॉयलर दिस इज द फ्रंट व्यू दिस इज द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड व्यू ऑफ द बॉयलर एंड दिस इज द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द बॉयलर सो you can see the lenke sair boiler in the three views so if you will see from this left or this from this side you will look like this this one is the you can say uh, boiler drum or a vessel and it is filled up with the water and in that uh, boiler vessel two tubes are there now if you will see the uh, internal parts of this so you can see in the front view so this one is the internal part of the tube and this initial portion of the tube the fire grate is located and you can see uh, from the side view this one is the boiler drum and there is a passage at the left hand side there is a passage again on the right hand uh, right hand side and there is a passage at the bottom also and this boiler drum is placed on the uh, construction work there is a fire brick work and if you will see from the top you can see both the tubes and this one is the side a left hand side passage and this one is the right hand side passage now let us study initially the classification of the boiler it means in which category the lenke sair boiler is classified horizontal drum boiler or it is a horizontal boiler because drum is located or arranged horizontally stationary because the drum is located on a construction work as we have discussed so it is a stationary boiler it cannot be moved multi tube it has a uh, you can say two tubes so it is you can say it is not a one tube or a single tube it is a multi tube boiler internally fired as you see here in the you can say the front portion of a tube the fire grate is provided where the fuel is burned so the fuel is burned inside the boiler drum so it is known as the internally fired boiler and is a fire tube boiler so you can see as the fuel is burned inside the tube it means hot gas is passes through the tube and the water surrounds the tube so it is a fire tube boiler construction so it is constructed using the fire bricks as we have discussed so this one is the you can say fire bricks and this also so is the fire brick construction work construction of fire bricks are done in such a way that when boiler drum is placed over it there is a passage in the bottom side of the boiler drum and two passage in both the sides of the boiler drum so initially construction work is carried out in a such a way that when boiler drum is placed there is a passage at the bottom side which is known as the bottom passage or a bottom flue and two passage on the side so it is known as a side flue and we can say it is a left hand side flue and this one is the right hand side flue or left hand side passage and the right hand side passage bottom passage is known as the bottom flue and the side pa passages are known as the side flues at the back side of the boiler drum chimney is provided so at the back side so it is you can say the this one is the back side and where the chimney is provided two tubes are located inside the boiler drum so this one is the boiler drum and the two tubes are located inside the boiler drum front side of tubes work as a combustion chamber so the initial portion of the front portion of a uh, tube works as a combustion chamber and therefore fire grate is provided now let us study the working of the lenke sair boiler initially half of the boiler drum is filled up with the water so you can see uh, you can say from the front side this one is you can say uh, half of the boiler is filled up with the water so this one is the water which you can see from the left hand side also fuel is supplied to the front side of the internal fire tube so these are the two internal fire tubes and the 
fuel is supplied to the fire grate in the combustion chamber fuel is burnt where and there is a place where the fuel is burnt and so hot gases or it is also known as the smoke or the product of combustion are produced hot gases flow from front side of tubes to the back side of the tube so as the hot gases have been generated in the front portion of the tube now it moves from the front side to the back side of the tube from both the tubes at the back side hot gases from both the tubes are mixed and directed towards the bottom passage that is the bottom flume so whatever the hot gases are passing from both the tubes at the back side they are collected and then it is uh, you can say directed towards the bottom passage so the uh, smoke gases from both the tubes at the back side of the boiler are collected and then it is directed towards the bottom flue so again hot gases move from back side to front side through bottom passage so from the bottom passage now hot gases now transfer from back side of the boiler to the front side of the boiler now when hot gases reached at the front side of the boiler they are divided into two parts and each part is directed towards the side passage so when they come out from the bottom pa bottom passage in the front portion of a boiler half of the hot gases enters into the left hand side passage and half of the hot gases enter into the right hand side passage hot gases move from front side to back side through both the side passage so you can see this is a side flue so the from side flue the hot gases now pass from front side of boiler to the back side of the boiler hot gases coming out from the side passage at the back side of the boiler is directed towards the chimney and thrown out from the chimney so whatever the hot gases passes through the left hand side flue or the right hand side flue they are entered into the chimney and then it is thrown into the atmosphere before that damper is provided so if hot gases are sufficiently hot then damper is closed so that hot gases again remain inside the side passage and continue to heat the water and convert the water into steam dampers are provided at the bottom of the chimney to regulate the flow of hot gases so the different mountings are attached to this boiler are pressure gauge water level indicator two safety valves blow off cock feed check valve steam stop valve and fusible plug the mountings that can be attached to the lancaster boiler are super heater economizer air preheater feed pump and anti priming pipe kindly ask your queries in the comment box of this video and also kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you